which kind of yeah, multiple intelligence do you have? Okay. Uh, so, uh, the first one is uh, to tell a story uh, based on uh, pictures, like you give a picture to the two okay. groups of uh, learners, mm -hmm. they base some story on those pictures. The second one is to write an essay on how to spend your summer. It may be not uh, so long, but... So, any kind of essay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the third one is uh, um, try to look for so solution on a riddle with uh, some signs. Is that clear? No. So, uh, you give some signs, it may be a house. Okay, let's try to explain what is a house or try to make some story okay. with this. Mm -hmm. uh, or it might be uh, in Russian rebus. I don't know how this riddle in English is. Yes, rebus. So, uh, uh, the fourth one is a brainstorming on any topic. Like, uh, try to remember as many answers as you can. Mm -hmm. And the last one, fifth, is a school paper publishing. It's like a journal for school. Some news. Creating posters even, mm -hmm. right? Posters, posters yeah, and posters. writing on them. Writing blogs will be good for yes. this also. Not mm -hmm. just posters, but blogs. Okay, thank you. The next one is... Who is the next one? Musical. You are. Okay, great. Musical. Okay. Um, the easiest one is to go outside and teach about everything we see around, like take the guitar or some musical instrument which is portable and like, learn a song about the nature or animals or the weather. So any, it can be any topic. Okay, if you, if you can't play an instrument, what can ah, you use there instead? Is someone who is able always at least a little but bit. i think you can use something like this yes. you can use clapping mm -hmm. or just uh, you know like yeah rap rap, rap. Yeah. about it it's it's mm -hmm. easy mm -hmm. so let's say every new vocabulary we study in the class can be practiced outside because like it a rhyme the atmosphere exactly <laughs> okay so then we can bring some material from outside to the class uh, create something like maybe a poster, like say a life of a squirrel, or let's say w whatever. So make some crafts. So and then create stories about it, or maybe even make a short play using this. Object. Okay, so you're talking about naturalist now, intelligence. Yes. Okay. And maybe mm -hmm. then create a poem or write a song or sing a song about it. You know, it would be good, I think, to mix naturalist and musical, to ask them how, what sound does it make. Whatever, it's a transportation or animals. Yeah, um, okay. uh, I will would see, be a good idea. Just, it depends on the group and on, on children. If they feel comfortable about it, of course I will do it. Okay, what else? Margarita. Okay, so I have about two ideas. Maybe one of them can sound a little bit crazy, but it's uh, funny. So uh, the first one, um, let's imagine that we have the topic of environment. Uh, we can always uh, ask our uh, students uh, to make uh, projects or posters. Yes, it would be quite logical uh, as a final stage of uh, studying the topic. And the other idea is a kind of uh, integrated um, lesson, um, like biology in English. So um, we can uh, take our students outside, I don't know, to the forest, to the field, whatever countryside. And if we study, like, I don't know, uh, bugs, insects, um, for example, ants, mosquitoes, yes. Catch a ladybird. Um, <laughs> we can um, uh, ask our students to imagine themselves as one of these uh, insects and, uh, for example, um, tell about themselves like their routine uh, life. Well, what do they have for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> How do they wash themselves? <laughs> <laughs> what amazing idea, really. That's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, why not? That's good. Okay, who's next? Who's next? Uh, logical, logical, mathematical. You are. Okay. 
logical mathematical intelligence. Okay, I'm going to talk about logical mathematical uh, intelligence. So first, I would like to talk about problem solving. Okay, for problem solving, uh, you can give an activity in order. Uh, you have to, uh, sentences. You need to order sentences to make a, a paragraph. Okay. Yes. Another another one is about so any kind of gap filling will be great for this group. Yeah. Another thing is uh, you can talk about categorizing. You can in a chart you can give them vocabulary and try to put it in charts. Uh, yeah, so categorizing and, dictation, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Again, for scramble words or puzzles. Scramble puzzle words, games. scramble words are great. Yeah, yeah. jumble letters. And, uh, again, find uh, to find a final words for example at the end it can be a keyword or a mm -hmm. thing, an animal. Or something yeah, like that. the same. Also, put sent uh, put uh, words in order to make a sentence. Yes. The same. So they will learn very good the sentence order if you just cut it, like I like we did today with the right. table. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. That's all. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. Okay. So the next one is spatial, visual, and intrapersonal. You are going. Okay. Yeah. So um, students who uh, have uh, this kind of intelligence uh, like colors very much. So uh, we as teachers should provide them with. Uh, different markers and uh, we should make everything bright for example when we write something on the board we can uh, use uh, different symbols graphic symbols because they really like it and we can uh, emoji, emoji yeah. uh, something like that <laughs> and highlight and, us uh, we should uh, not just write words but maybe <coughs> some pictures on the board and also they can learn from us or maybe they guess themselves that they can draw something in their um, copy books and so on, uh, for example, I think that uh, such students like um, to do activities something like, something like um, pictionaries, and guessing words and so on. Uh, so I think that uh, the activity of uh, uh, writing uh, a story based on pictures would be good. Uh, also they like watching videos and uh, uh, as well, they are fond of uh, creating some stuff, so they can not only watch videos, but create their own videos and other crafts would be quite useful. I think, you know, they will benefit a lot from such tasks like uh, directions. Yes. When you give they, them a map, they are right? They at reading maps. Mm -hmm. So, not like me. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I've tried, you know, 10 yeah, minutes, 10 the, minutes, the you were, uh, 10 minutes you were trying to do this activity. I was trying to find Lerkula in the map. <laughs> <laughs> I did not succeed. So, please, anybody, when you find it, just circle it for me. So, intrapersonal. Uh, intrapersonal, yeah. So, uh, these students like working alone. That's why some uh, creative things uh, would be useful. I mean, uh, writing a blog uh, where they can express... Personal blog, you mean? Yes. Personal. Where they can express their emotions and feelings. Or where can they tell uh, about themselves? Because they don't like working in groups, maybe. Um, will, you, will you allow the students individual work all the time? Oh, no. Not all not the all time. The time. Yes, of course. they have to learn how to work. So hard. sometimes you give choice. But sometimes you mm -hmm. just insist that mm -hmm. this is period. And I all, uh, very li uh, like the idea of uh, uh, time outs for such uh, students very much. Uh, what do you mean? Um, so I read it here. Mm -hmm. uh, we should give, sometimes we should give one minute reflection period for students uh, during which uh, this time they can uh, think of what they have just learned. It may be useful. Three, two, one, reflection task. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, great. Body kinesthetic? <clears throat> We've got uh, about uh, three points. Uh, the first is uh, touching body. Very interesting. Your body? <laughs> or, or somebody body? <laughs> this is, sounds strange. <laughs> touch body. Students, one by one, touch um, another part of body. For example, um, Berg, I like your hair because they are brown. And, and so brown. Black, black, yeah. It's an example. Okay. No, you know, I will tell you. I will tell you better. Uh, if they are young learners, that would be a good idea. Uh, I usually take them, provide them like a bathroom. I bring them a shower cap and a loafer, you know, 
and I tell them, okay, so look, your neighbor is that very <coughs> today. So please wash his face and they gently, they, they, okay, they put on shower cap on Mustafa, for example, and she starts to wash his face, okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, wash his shoulders. Then I, uh, it's also good for uh, pro pronoun pronounce, yeah? Wash my nose, then I say. Wash your face, mm -hmm. okay? Wash his face, that works good because we're all wearing these shower caps, funny, and, and works good. Uh, but if it's teenagers, what can you do? You cannot touch. How can you adapt it? Yeah. To, to, yeah, this, this task. How can you adapt it for teenagers? Because you cannot touch. Yes. No, they would, they would not do it. They would not do it. They would not do it. They feel, they feel it's childish. But how can you deal with this? I will give you. No. I would give you, I would give you stickers like this. With written, you write here body parts. You write, not me. You write body parts and then stick it on your partner. Yeah. That would be good for teenagers and adults as well. Okay? Uh, the next and then he, he does the same with you. <laughs> <laughs> the next is, uh, in Russia, it is said blue cow. For example, uh, I can give uh, a hat to my students where there are cards with the names of some subjects or animals and one by one they take a card. For example, this is an elephant or something else and they explain by movements. So they should mime it. Mime, right? Yeah. They should mime it. Okay. Mime. Uh, next week we will have a grammar um, topic, how to teach grammar. But I would <laughs> like you may, to show you this um, maybe today. Uh, my teenagers, 14 years old, we are miming adverbs. Can you imagine that? For example, it was something like drink tea loudly. So he saw this piece of course, and he tried to mime it to the group. <laughs> yes, or sit down carefully, you know, or uh, so, so there are some funny things, but uh, works, works good for this multiple intelligence. Yeah. Miming adverbs, you know, <laughs> breathe deeply. <laughs> Yeah, that was... No, they did not do it. They like... <laughs> <laughs> no, there were some funny things. Uh, one more is a role play. For example, if I want mm -hmm. to give my students yeah, role um, play is fairy good. tale, they can add this fairy tale uh, by improvisation or um, exact retelling of this story. Yes, look, look. Uh, with teenagers, fairy tales don't work anymore. Not you take fairy yeah. Some interesting stories, funny it's also. better, you know. <laughs> you won't believe, but we role played with my students Romeo and Juliet. We did, we did. A part, a part, you know. So, but what works well with teenager? They see a video, a short one, like animation video we saw yesterday. Then you give them a tape script, and then they role play it. That's a good idea. Because That's another, all? Uh, another idea is realia that works with realia. Realia, yeah. realia, realia, realia yeah. for example, uh, bring in objects to the classroom and let them touch that and say it's like... Yeah, maybe. Okay, so thank you.